good morning students today i will discuss some of the programs of if else and your multiple if and your first program for if else is you have to check whether the number is even or odd so first for that we will just uh, take the variable n import package you know class check public static void main the format is same for all the programs now int n variable n i have taken for uh, reading an integer value now scanner sc is equal to new scanner system dot in n is equal to sc dot next int and bracket and semicolon now if n module 2 is equal to is equal to 0 it will print your even number now <coughs> let's say i have taken n as 4 so it will first as you know that module it is an arithmetic operator first it will check whether the remainder is uh, whether what, what it, it will it returns your remainder and with the help of relational uh, operator we will just compare the remainder with the with this uh, number 0 now if your remainder is equal to equal to this 0 that means it is an even number and else your uh, control will jump to the else part and it will print odd number if i if i take n as 7 so 7 module 2 remainder is 1 so 1 is not equal to 0 so it will your if it this will jump to the else part and it will print your odd number now write a program that takes an integer and test whether it is divisible by 2 4 and 5 so import java.util.asterisk and semicolon i have taken class check public static void main int n now scanner sc is equal to new scanner system dot in n is equal to sc dot next in now if n module 2 is equal to is equal to 0 now we have to check whether the number is divisible by 2, 4 and 5. So for each we will apply if statement. Now n module 2 is equal to is equal to 0. We will compare here. Now if this condition is true, it will print divisible by 2. If n module 4 is equal to is equal to 0, the it will print divisible by 4. And if n module 5 is equal to is equal to 0, it will print divisible by 5. Now last if it is declaring that if n module 2 not equal to 0 and operator here i am using these are logical operators and what and operator does it for this all the condition should be true if all the condition is true then only it will execute now if n module 2 not equal to 0 and and n module 4 not equal to 0 and and n module 5 not equal to 0 for this if statement to be executed all these three conditions should be true because here i have used and operator and if all three conditions will be true it will print your not divisible by either 2 4 or 5 you can see if i will take n as 7 so 7 module 2 obviously it's it will return uh, 1 so it's not equal 7 module 4 so it is also not dividing it, its remainder is not equal to 0 7 module uh, 5 again the remainder is not 0 so the statement will jump to this last if and all three conditions are true because remainder is not equal to 0 in all three all the three cases so it will print not divisible now let's take an example of uh, let's say i read n as 8 now you can see these are if statement if uh, it, it it works on multiple conditions so if conditions will be true it will uh, uh, or if uh, two or three conditions will be true it will execute all these statements now if 8 module 2 it is obviously it is equal to t uh, it is equal to 0 and 0 is equal to 0 is it is divisible by 2 it will print now 8 module 4 is equal to is equal to 0 now the statement is divisible by 4 now it will jump to your next statement 
these two conditions has become true now it will go your to your third if 8 module 5 it uh, 8 module 5 it is your remainder is your 3 so 3 it is not equal to 0 so it will skip this statement and it will jump to this last if now n module 2 not equal to 0 this condition becomes false because it is already true over here in the first statement now n module 4 not equal to 0 this condition is also false as uh, in this as according to your second statement because this is true now last condition is true so this if part will not work because here we are using and operator and for and operator to work all the three conditions which i have put in this if uh, statement should be true for it to work now this uh, is the program of else if program now the basic difference between your else if and multiple if is in this uh, in uh, i have taken in here three three conditions so out of these three conditions if one will be true it will just run that it will just print that statement only but in multiple if or uh, uh, the conditions which are true they execute all the true conditions now see if i have uh, taken n as variable for uh, uh, reading the value now scanner sc is equal to new scanner system dot in n is equal to sc dot next int now if n is greater than 0 if n is greater than 0 that means the number is positive number now if n is less than 0 uh, as you know the number line it is basically based on the concept of number line so the number which are greater than 0 they uh, falls into the category of positive number and the number which are less than 0 they falls under the category of your negative number so if n is less than 0 it is your negative number and else if if uh, n is equal to is equal to 0 it is your neutral number now if i take n let's say the how we will how it will work output what will be the output of this program if i have taken n is equal to minus 1 so first it will the cursor will move here n is greater than 0 the condition is false so it will jump it will transfer the control to the next part else if now minus 1 is less than 0 the condition is true it will print your negative number it will not go to this part because at least one condition should be true it checks for one condition should be true it does not check for multiple conditions but in if it checks for multiple condition if multiple conditions are true it prints all the statement accordingly thank you students